Hello, this is Hill from Travel Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you all to an add-on called MicroMesh. It's the same guy who created uh, Simply Cloth, and it works really good. And what it actually does is it adds just decorations basically onto the surface of any model, humanoid or geometric or hard mesh, anything like that. It just adds decorative uh, mesh items presets onto the surface not sure what I mean by that but I'll leave a link of it uh, for the download and the description of loads of videos so you can download it yourselves and try it out because it's pretty pretty straightforward and pretty nice and once you've downloaded it onto your system it's the same process of installing it just go to edit click on preferences uh, go to install and then here you just navigate to where you've installed it or downloaded it onto your system click on install add-on and once you've done that you type it in micro and you just put a check in the box and it activates it and it starts to working and I'm using blender 2.92 and I think you can use it in a two point this version that I'm using you can use it in 2.9 and above I don't think it can be used in 3.0 but don't uh, quote me on that but I'm using 2.92 so we're going to start off testing it on uh, the cube which is just simple geometry and it's a pretty straightforward add-on. It's not much of a cur learning curve to it. We just select your our, our item, add micro mesh, and when that comes, I mean it's been applied. You can see it here a little bit, and the number of items that are applied to the surface depends on how subdivided your mesh is. You can see from the cube that it's not really subdivided all that much. It's just a basic cube with six sides, so it's just applied. Um, a micro mesh item to each side and you can increase that and I'll show you that down below uh, in the options here but it has a lot of presets in it click on uh, that icon there uh, that thumbnail it's got all kinds of all these intricate looking uh, designs and patterns here which is really cool you can use this if you want to like make baskets or jewelry in blender add some decorative uh, elements to it I wouldn't use it on clothing because uh, this is some really dense mesh here. And if you were to use it on clothing, just use it kind of sparingly, you know, just like a few of these items uh, on the surface of your material, but don't kind of fill up the whole mesh with uh, the micro mesh because it will slow down your computer and will actually cause Blender to crash. But uh, we have this and we have these options here. And you can edit uh, the micro mesh. Uh, invert it, do all kinds of things to it, uh, affect the orientation on the normal, tangent, and velocity. And this is just an introduction to MicroMesh, it's not like an in-depth tutorial just to introduce you guys to it. You can increase the scale of uh, the mesh here by dragging this up, make that bigger. Uh, the randomness, if there's more than uh, one MicroMesh element on the surface, you can randomize it with that uh, option there. Um, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can increase the thickness of the micro mesh, uh, increase the subdivision to make it more detailed in terms of because uh, right now if you go into edit mode you'll see it's not that uh, heavily subdivided. It's just enough. And if you feel that you want to I guess add more uh, micro mesh elements to the surface based upon the uh, subdivision of the surface you can increase the subdivisions here. So you just click on that as many times you want. As you can see, as we're clicking on it, it starts to subdivide it and turn it into a sphere. And it ends, actually ends up increasing the number of micro mesh elements on the surface based upon the faces, which is what I mentioned before. You can remesh it also. Uh, you can do weight painting, but for some reason, this weight paint, I assume that once you click on weight paint, what it would do is that where you paint it on you would have the micro mesh pretty much isolated to the area but it does the opposite for some weird reason I'll show you what I mean by this I'm going to click on weight paint you can see it turns red which means that all of it is weight painted that's how it is in blender red is everything is completely weight painted when it goes down to blue that means there are no elements on it at all but now left click and I paint on this you can see that it eliminates the mesh here and it's on draw 
which means it's supposed to add my, that's my understanding it's supposed to add uh, the elements or add weight paint to this area but for some reason when you click done there's nothing there so I don't it's it kind of works backwards for some reason I don't know if I'm looking at it wrong or what but it looks like it's working backwards because when you weight paints in an area you're, you're wanting to add more elements to the place that's been weight painted but this does the opposite which is kind of weird but that's that for my own experiments that's how it's been uh, but let's go on to Suzanne and let's see how it works on Suzanne where is Suzanne let's drag over here do I have Suzanne in this scene okay I thought I had Suzanne in this scene but I guess not so let's uh let's delete the cube here and then press shift a mesh monkey let's go to front view there let's uh let's subdivide Suzanne a little bit before we add the micro mesh to it or to her scroll down and subdivision surface make that two and apply all and we have more subdivision surfaces to work with the more surfaces to work with and add micro mesh and look at that it adds it looks like a basket woven uh, monkey head which is cool like except for you can select any of these patterns here and it'll do it and I'll just select any of them and it'll apply it to the surface of your mesh and in front is kind of dense but on the uh, rest of Suzanne's head it's kind of spread out here uh, let me see let's uh, let's check out the randomness of this let's see how that looks okay when you scroll on random scale it makes the each micro mesh a different size which is cool let's see what it does with the randomness of the phase okay it, it just changes the ori the uh, orientation of it which is also cool so yeah this is a pretty cool add-on but like I said before you don't want to use it to this extent on a claw simulation because it will crash blender and it will put your computer to sleep so to speak and uh, yeah this is just an introduction to micro mesh I hope you guys tried to see how it works yet to see what it does and I have seen too that you can hopefully you can still do this you can uh, apply uh, the micro mesh to your element or to your model and save it as an OBJ and export it as an OBJ when I do a more in-depth tutorial of micro mesh I'll apply that concept to it of exporting it as an OBJ so we can use it in like different other different uh, 3D element, a 3D based software like 3ds Max, or even lower versions of Blender like 2.82 and so on and so forth, 2.79. But yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. That's just today's um, Blender quick tip, and I hope this was helpful to those of you who have watched it. And thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who are subscribing in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.